Hi friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. If you are new here, my name's Angelica. I'm sharing my healthy weight loss wellness journey online and today we are talking about WW aka Weight Watchers. So obviously there has been um, some things kind of bubbling in the WW community that you may or may not be aware of. I have had some of you ask me about it and send me DMs and everything so I wanted to update you in a proper video to give you the gist of the whole situation. Um, WW has decided to partner with people and companies who have racist backgrounds or racist beliefs multiple times and they have failed to address it. So that's kind of a rundown of what's happening. Um, it all kind of started when they selected um, this girl named Drew as an ambassador. It came out that her boyfriend, who she is very like close with on social media, they do um, social media stuff together like Instagram together, YouTube together, White Watchers together, all of that. He had posted things on his personal Facebook publicly that were anti-BLM, um, making fun of BLM, making fun of the Me Too movement also, um, and making fun of basically the death of George Floyd. I'm not going to go into detail. I don't have like screenshots of things or anything like that and those posts have since been deleted but I'm sure a lot of you know the type of posts I'm talking about. So it was upsetting um, when Drew was selected as an ambassador back when BLM was really um, starting off really strong and protests were happening everywhere. Uh, back in June when it was kind of lifting off like I was saying um, They did post their black square on their Instagram. They started with their motto of we will be better and do better so Selecting that ambassador definitely did not seem like a step in the right direction of that They did end up removing her as an ambassador, but they never issued a statement um, They never addressed it. It was kind of just hush hush swept under the rug especially if you aren't on like the little corner of Instagram that I'm on then you might not even realize that these things have been happening. After that WW did reach out to BIPOC members. They started doing things like sending um, people of color goodie boxes in the mail, posting them on their Instagram, putting them in their email, um, advertisements and things of that nature. And it did seem like they were trying to be more inclusive at that point, at least to me. Of course, I cannot speak on behalf of people of color, so it did kind of seem like they were trying to reprimand the whole ambassador situation a little bit. And then just last week, um, they announced that they were partnering with American Dream Nut Butter. American Dream Nut Butter did also have that history of racism. So the fact that they partnered and wanted to affiliate themselves with that just showed that they were obviously not sticking to their do better, be better, and not working on how they vet the people that they partner with. Like, maybe they didn't know about it, I don't know, but like, as a large corporation, it is their responsibility to figure that out and make sure it aligns. And they failed to do that. They did take the nut butter product out of their um, WW store, so they stopped the partnership. And it seemed like for several days, I think it was at least two days, they didn't post anything about it at all. Um, in fact, they posted a french fry recipe instead of addressing the concerns of their BIPOC members. There were a handful of comments on that fry recipe post that were asking WW to take accountability, asking if they were going to issue a statement, comments like that in general that were asking them just to be accountable and address it. And some of those comments were actually deleted by WW. Um, I think the next day or maybe that night they posted a story. They did not post a feed post. They posted a story concerning it. Um, I don't know if it was supposed to be an apology because they didn't say that they did anything wrong, but I'm going to put their story post um, in a screenshot here for you to see because since it's been after 24 hours, you won't be able to see it. Um, several people of color on Instagram were really hurt by this whole situation and there's been a lot of discussion, there's been a lot of unrest. Well, there is your rundown of what has been happening in the WW world lately um, and due to some of those recent events, I want to be clear about a couple things going forward. Number one, 
I am not affiliated with WW. I've never been an ambassador for WW. I've never posted for them. I've never been sponsored by them. None of that sort of thing. They've never even liked an Instagram post of mine. They've never even commented on a YouTube video and they've never even followed my channel which has given them at least 30 new members over the course that I've been making WW related YouTube videos uh, which brings me to my next point. So point number two, I have never paid for WW. Whenever I started my journey with them I already had this YouTube channel and I was posting um, plus size fashion and makeup and all that sort of thing and when I started posting WW content like sharing my journey what I was eating weigh-in updates and that sort of thing I was blessed enough to have many many people use my referral link in order to sign up for WW and every member has a referral link so again it's not like a special link for creators or anything like that that being said I have been on WW since early 2018 and I know that those free months are going to be running up soon. When that happens, I will not be spending money to maintain my membership with them. Um, I think that where we spend our money as consumers can make a difference. And I will not be paying for a membership with a large corporation who doesn't value BIPOC members in their community. I don't even support companies that give me bad customer service one time. So I'm definitely not going to support a company that has tokenized their people of color and ignored their feelings and concerns. Um, at this point, they have repeatedly partnered with people and companies who hold racist um, backgrounds, racist history, racist beliefs, however you want to put it, and they fail to acknowledge it. It just really seems like they want it to look like they're trying to do better and be better but in reality they tend most to their main demographic. Um, this being said, I can no longer stand behind this company. This week I've been cross-tracking on iTrackBytes. iTrackBytes is really really similar to WW on the point system. They have lots of different plans you can pick from. Um, it is a lot cheaper and when people of color and allies have reached out to them on Instagram um, because obviously they know about you know everything that's happening with WW. They are their main competitor. Um, they've had really good responses and some of you who might not have been here since the beginning of my journey might not know it but I actually did start with iTrackBytes. I lost my first 30 pounds there really quickly before switching over to WW and I like iTrackBytes just fine. Looking back I do kind of regret tying myself to WW so closely. I think it just became a part of it, like it was my WW journey, but in reality, this is my journey. This is my life journey. I don't want people to have the wrong impression and like, I noticed that some people did think I was a WW ambassador, I was affiliated with them, and I've never been that. I just wanted to update everyone, um, while I have the WW app, I think I will still be including points, just because I understand that for some people, you might not be able to switch from WW. I'm not trying to push you to switch off of it. Just for me personally, I'm not going to stay with them and I'm not going to pay for it when there is an extremely comparable option that is cheaper and that has better values. But I will still be sharing the points um, while I have it and I do have a track bites, which is the same points and it was like that in the beginning too. I'm still going to be sharing my whole journey here. I'm going to be sharing my weigh-in updates like normal, um, my meal preps. I'm not a person who has really good luck tracking calories and macros due to my history with eating disorders so probably won't be doing that still. I'm not going to be like a promo for I track bites like I was saying. So from here on out I think my journey will be more just my journey. Um, it's not going to be Weight Watcher specific and I hope you still stick around. I understand if you don't want to compare it to I track bites. I'm always learning, trying to be the best ally that I can be in these situations and I think that putting my money where my mouth is is a really good way to do that. So this video has been a little stressful. Um, change can be scary anytime and then it's just something that I feel strongly about so it does get difficult to talk about. Um, I hope if nothing else this enlightens you to some of the stuff that's been happening within WW that hasn't been shared as publicly as fry recipes. I'm hoping I didn't leave anything out. Um, I had a lot of thoughts about it but sometimes when I sit down it just gets all jumbled. So I will probably put stuff in the description too and I will see you next time.